when Padme and Poe Dameron have better chemistry than Padme and Anakin. Beating a dead horse on that one. I just found it funny. Annihilation. So Annihilation is written and directed by Alex Garland. He's the director of Ex Machina. In this movie, Natalie Portman is a biologist who goes on this expedition to this place. Oh, all right. How to describe this place? It's a zone that's spreading and this zone has a shimmer to it. It's very enigmatic in there. So her and a crew have to go in there and get to this destination. Hopefully accrue some data. Hopefully find out what the heck is going on. I'm gonna talk about what I like in this movie. People who like this movie, people who hate this movie, they're all gonna say this thing. They're all gonna have this in common. The movie looked fantastic. This place, beautiful to look at. It's like this weird hybrid where heaven and hell came together. Like one thing in particular, I was like, that's horrific. But it's kind of beautiful. And maybe I'm a messed up person. Probably. But again, reviews are going to have that in common. You're going to hear a lot of the same phrases, which are, The movie swings for the fences. The movie is bold. It's outside the box. But really, those don't denote success. It just means attempts. You can swing for the fences and strike out. It's just a reality of the situation. I mean, I got what the movie was trying to say. On paper, I loved all of it. If you break down all the events on paper, I'd be like, yeah, that's great. By the director of Ex Machina, I'm going day one. But really, in this movie's attempt to be a modern art thinking piece, the cohesive the film element and aspect of it got left behind. This crew of people that go out there, you're attached to a couple of them. You look at the crew of, I know it's a different movie, but aliens or even alien. I'm attached to most people among the crews in those movies. Here I was attached to the concept. This movie does ask really profound questions about biology, psychology, consciousness, what is life? The term annihilation itself, they raise a great point. If you follow my channel for any amount of time, I imagine you have grasped by now that if a movie looks great, if the movie looks beautiful, it's not enough for me to say, yeah, it's a good movie. Because really, you can Google anything, go online, Google images, you can find yourself some pretty pictures there. You don't have to pay $15 a ticket to see it. Because really, this movie was a drag in the most beautiful place possible. The movie was dragging on, it was long, it was slow. And I was thinking, okay, maybe it's like The Sixth Sense. If you look at The Sixth Sense, if you take the ending of The Sixth Sense away, The Sixth Sense is just kind of a slow burn movie that doesn't have a lot of payoff without the ending. I figured maybe it was gonna be like The Sixth Sense. Maybe it's a slow burn movie, sure, but at the end, it's all gonna come together, I'm gonna walk out of there with my mind blown, being like, guys, I know, slow burn for sure, best movie of the year so far. We're two months in, whatever. And really the ending didn't do it for me. There's actually a thing that happens in the ending and it goes on for so long, I was like, we get it, dude, move on. And I do feel this movie has some loose threads, not moments that are open to interpretation so you can think about it for weeks on end, but genuine loose threads. I feel like if a movie does that and it tries to be a modern art thinking piece, if it succeeds, then the loose threads are there intentionally. If it doesn't succeed, then the loose threads are just plot holes in the movie. For me, felt like plot holes. I don't wanna discourage anyone for going for a high art thinking piece with their film. It should be encouraged, I do encourage it. I'd like to see it more in movies, but in that area, you really have to succeed. You really do have to stick that landing. Like if a movie's going for a great fun popcorn picture and they only end up being a good fun popcorn picture, it's still a fun popcorn picture. If a movie goes for being a high art thinking piece, it either is that or it's not. And if it's not, you run the high risk of your film feeling very indulgent. Indulgent was the word. Like after a screening, there are people with notepads like, so what'd you think? I was like, in a word, indulgent is the word I would choose to describe this movie. Best I can say it is like this. If you enjoy a deep concept, and you're more impressed with what the filmmaker was trying to do rather than what he succeeded in doing, I think you'll enjoy it. If you require a movie to stick the landing, in my opinion, didn't do it. I'm not gonna necessarily forget this movie, but I do think it might be a better time if you're something, I'll say drunk. Yeah, now it's a party. It's not all substances are legal in all states. All right, so Annihilation, not the Mortal Kombat one, because that's just all around terrible. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or what's a movie that's your cerebral film? Your deep thinking movie that hits you to your core, makes your question life itself. Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.